Hey guys, what's up? It's Chrissy. And Joseph. And on today's video, you guys, we are going to be making garlicky kale mac and cheese. With crispy breadcrumbs and pesto. So if you would love to know how to make our favorite vegan mac and cheese dish, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into the video. Okay guys, so the first step is to set your oven to 425 degrees. Once you set your oven, the next step is to get a pot and make sure you use about six cups of water and put it on high. You're then going to make sure that your water starts bubbling and boiling and then you're going to add salt. Go ahead and add your last two cups of water, totaling six cups, and then you're going to add your salt. After you add your salt, you're going to wait until it starts boiling. Okay guys, so as your water is starting to boil, you're gonna go ahead and cut up your onion. And all you're gonna do is slice it like this. And there you have your sliced onion. Then after that, you're going to want to peel and mince your garlic. Once you grab your garlic, you're just going to chop this up. And then you're going to place your garlic and your onions to the side for later. And you're also going to add half of your garlic and put it in the same bowl as your onions and then place that over to the side for later. Okay, so the next thing is to de-stem the curly kale and roughly chop the leaves. Now, Chrissy is always a kale eater and she knows exactly how to prepare kale, therefore I let her do that piece there. You're going to kind of get it together to hold it in place and then just roughly chop it through. The recipe has us cook this for six to seven minutes for al dente, which most times I do like, but overall I like my pasta cooked a little more than that, so we're probably going to do about eight to ten minutes to have our pasta ready. Okay guys, so the next step is to get a pan and you're going to add your butter. You're going to put your fire on medium high, wait until the butter is melted down, and then add your onions and your garlic that you put aside in the bowl. So now that our butter is melted, I'm just going to swivel that around a little bit to even the pan. Then we're going to add in our chopped onion and half of our chopped garlic that we already set aside earlier in the bowl. Again, just the chopped onion and the rest of the chopped garlic that we already have set aside in a bowl. And you're going to stir this and cook this for three to five minutes until your onions and your garlic is soft. Now the next step we're going to do is to prepare our breadcrumbs. And these are going to go on top of the mac and cheese when it's done prior to going into the oven. It comes out so crispy and so delicious. So Chrissy has already added in the breadcrumbs. Now we're going to add about two teaspoons of olive oil. Then we're going to add just a pinch of salt and pepper and mix this all around to evenly coat the breadcrumbs.
Okay guys, so th that next step was once your pasta is already done and cooked, you're going to drain it. You're going to also add cold water to stop the cooking process. So the next step is you're going to add your rice flour once your onions and your garlic is all done after that three to five minutes. You're also going to continuously stir for one to two minutes. So once your one to two minutes is up, you're going to add your one cup of almond milk. And then you're going to continue to stir and let this start to simmer for two to three minutes until it thickens. Okay guys, so once your sauce is all done with simmering, then you're going to transfer it over to your blender with the mozzarella. Okay guys, go ahead and add your vegan mozzarella. And then you're going to add a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. Perfect. Now go ahead and put your lid on and start to blend. Okay guys, so once you're done blending, go ahead and clean out that same pan. You're going to then add your one teaspoon of olive oil and then wait till that's hot. Then you're going to add your garlic. Okay guys, go ahead and add your half garlic and let that simmer for one to two minutes. Okay, so our garlic is done for one to two minutes. I'm going to add in all of our curly kale. Next, I'm going to add a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. And we're going to let that cook for three to five minutes until our kale has begun to, has begun to wilt. Okay guys, so once your timer is up, go ahead and add that cheesy mixture to your pasta. Yeah, stir it in really well so all your pasta is coated with the sauce. Mmm, doesn't that look good? It tastes even better than it looks. <laughs> okay guys, and go ahead now and add that yummy crispy kale. That garlicky kale. <laughs> now you're gonna mix everything together. Kale's gonna give it that crisp as well. Can't wait to add the breadcrumb on top of this, babe. I know, it's gonna be so good. Okay guys, so now you're going to add your creamy, garlicky kale mac and cheese into a serving dish. Okay guys, and the last step before it goes into the oven, you're going to add breadcrumbs on top. Remember earlier when you put that salt, pepper, breadcrumbs, and olive oil, 
nice and toasty and crunchy right now. So I'm gonna put on top of all the garlicky mac and cheese and bake in the oven. And now you wanna place your garlicky kale mac and cheese in the oven for 68 minutes so that the breadcrumbs are golden brown. Okay guys, so once your timer is up and you take your garlicky kale mac and cheese out of the oven, this is what it should look like. Doesn't that look good? Drop it. Drop it a bit, okay. <laughs> Master Chef Chrissy over here is separating all this into two separate bowls for us to eat. And then we'll come back with the last and final step, you guys. Okay, guys, and the last step, babe, is pesto on top. This sauce just sets everything into motion and it tastes so delicious. And that's how you make your garlicky kale mac and cheese. We hope that you enjoyed this video. We hope that you try this delicious recipe. And we hope that you guys enter our purple carrot giveaway. All the instructions for the giveaway will be in the description box of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in our next video. Bye guys, we love you. Soup.